Being set apart in a noisy world. Steps to freedom. Being set apart is synonymous with holiness. Bishop Robert Barron defined holiness as literally being set apart. As Christians, we're called to be set apart, which means we're called to be holy. But first, how could we ever achieve any degree of holiness without God's grace, right? But also without putting our part in seeking silence. I'd like to invite you to consider to intentionally seek silence. French philosopher Blaise Pascal once said, all of humanity's problems stem from a man's inability to sit quietly in a room alone. In our modern world, technology and the internet are inundating our minds and our souls more than ever before. And it, most of the times it's in ways that aren't so good and aren't very virtuous. So taking the time to unplug would be very beneficial to the soul. In fact, Jesus Christ, our blessed Lord and Savior himself, intentionally took time to be alone with the Lord. He would go out to the wilderness. The Gospel of St. Luke, or, uh, chapter 6, verse 12, tells us exactly this. And it came to pass in those days that he went out into a mountain to pray and continued all night in prayer to God. So I'd like to invite you to consider to take time to intentionally find a quiet place, whether it be in your room or at a retreat, to be alone in silence with God, to let the Lord speak to you. And in those moments, I pray that God will continue to bless you in your path because spending time with God leads always to our sanctification. Our sanctification is our holiness. Our holiness is being set apart. And guess what? When we're set apart, that is truly our freedom because our will is aligned with God's most perfect will. And that is what makes us fully alive. St. Benedict tells us that the purpose of our life is the glorification of God. And then St. Irenaeus tells us that the glory of God is man fully alive. Friends, we're most fully alive when we are holy and we are one with God. May God bless you.